I remember laying in my bedroom floor thinking that life was over. I was suicidal, I was broken into a million pieces. I mean, a girl had just left me, walked out of my life, was supposed to marry her, and now she leaves for another man. Now I walk away from everything that was important, my career, my church, my ministry, my television ministry, my radio ministry. I was broken, shattered, devastated. And you see, I had grown up thinking that you had to be perfect for God, not only to love you, but definitely for him to use you. And, and here I am in the darkest, worst, most horrific moment of my life. And all of a sudden, a little voice spoke to me. You see, here I am crying out to God. And I don't know if you've ever been there, but I mean, I was at that moment where I cry and I call out, God, where are you? How is it that you could allow this to happen to me? I mean, I've done so much for you. I've given my life for you, and now you let everything fall down around. Don't you know that I wanted to reach millions and millions of people for you, and now you just leave me broken? And it was in that moment that he reminded me that the mission that I had been on to reach millions, well, isn't it funny how a lot of times our problems are actually part of God's plan? I remember him taking me to the story of the five loaves and the two fishes. You see, it was that he had to feed 5,000 plus women and children, 15 to 20,000 people, and yet five loaves and two fishes weren't enough. But look at what the Bible says. It says that when Jesus took the five loaves and two fishes, he broke them and he blessed them. You see, a lot of times, that's the beauty of broken things, is that God has to break something in order to bless it. And I remember God speaking to me in that still, small voice and saying, remember how you prayed that you wanted to reach millions? Well, you just weren't enough. I had to break you into millions of pieces in order to feed you to millions of people. I want you to know right now that you may be in the broken, the most broken state of your life. And you're thinking that there's no way that God could ever love you, much less ever use you. But I want you to know you're wrong. If you are broken, if you are shattered, well, you're a perfect candidate for the grace of God to clean you up. And, and put you on a pedestal like a shining diamond. I am a testimony to the fact that God finds beauty in broken things. So God bless you. I hope that this has encouraged you today. Please take a moment. There's somebody in your timeline, your newsfeed, or your friend list that needs to hear this message. You have no idea who it is around you that is broken and needs a word of encouragement. So please take a moment and click share on the side of the bottom of this video. Like and comment below. If you're not my friend already on Facebook, click my name at the top of the video and let's be friends. God bless. Have a very, very beautiful day.